welcome to this video and uh, in this video we will see further from where we left the last video in our last video we uh, have seen how to add some pictures how to add the how to move our text then we have included our table and given some data inside the table some data inside the table then uh, from there we'll start after that we'll start so you can see in the code uh, i have written some i have written something here from here to this table we have done the last class after that you can see we have included br that means uh, the br tag uh, that is uh, our break tag uh, so i use this to give some line break then we have written b b tends for the bold tag so whatever I will write inside this tag, it will appear as bold. So clearly we can see this is inside the bold tag. It is written and here I have written this is inside the bold tag. So it appears as bold. It is very easy, a simple tag. Then we have I tag. This is inside the italic tag. Okay, so italic that means uh, some uh, you can see this is inside the italic tag okay so then this is inside the underline tag so the word will be underlined you can see underlined then we have strike tag the strike tag is basically used to strike out the word and you can see here that i have the word this is inside the strike tag that particular sentence was striked out then uh, we have this is inside the big element and this is inside the small element so same only big and small and then uh, let me see the output this is inside the big element this is inside the small element okay then we have our uh, teletype this is inside teletype element tag so what basically uh, the teletype element is it is a typewritten kind of text it will come so this is inside teletype element tag nothing else and uh, then uh, we have our uh, this sub tag okay what this sub tag means this sub tag uh, basically means our uh, subscript okay this subscript means when we try to write something uh, below that particular word like h2o so here in the example you can see um, I have written this H2SO4. So 2 is coming little down. Okay. Not completely in the uh, next line, but in between, from the middle, it will it starts. Right. <clears throat> so for that, we'll use our subscript. And same way, we'll use our superscript, like e equal to mc square. Okay. So for that, we use superscript. So SUP for super. If you want to add something in the power. Okay. So this is what we have included. You can pause the video and you can watch the codes. And uh, now let us move further from here. Let us add some uh, after here. Let me add start adding tag after the anchor tag. And the tag we will be including is our listing tag. Order list and unorder list both we will see today so let us uh, let us add the order list means list which will be ordered like one two three four like this or a b c d this kind of uh, list we consider as order list so let me add order list so order list for order list we will be uh, including um, our tag that is ol very easy order list is ol order list so ol is our order list and inside that order list we will use list item so for list item li and uh, li closing and like this let us add three items in order list okay 
so in the order list let me add like um, maths science and computer science so these are my order list let me save it and uh, let me go back to our page if i refresh it you can see the order list is coming like this maths science computer science here you can uh, see order list it is written just before that if i add that it is order list so it is better so let me give some heading h1 ordered list okay and then refresh it let me go back and see what is coming here and here it is ordered list so like this we can add a heading and after that i have included my order list same thing we'll do here with unordered list just the difference is uh, let me change it to um, unordered list so for that unordered list and same thing just in place of order list i will write ol ul ol will be changed to ul let me save it let me go back and refresh it and you can see our unordered list so you can see in our unordered list we have dots okay but in order list we have one two three okay it is uh, order list basically we use to show our priority okay like math is my important very important subject then comes science and then computer science okay so like this in order list we'll give our data we can change the way it is appearing like one two three we uh, do not uh, like the one two three okay we want something else like uh, for that let me show you like type if i write type uh, then if i write uh, like this right refresh it let me go back and uh, refresh the page now you can see roman number is coming okay so if i for that you have to change the type let me write it here a save it and uh, the type i have changed now you see a b c it is coming again let me go back and here if i put capital letter save it and then i will get capital a b c and uh, in case you do not change give anything if you do not put any type here if i do not put any type here if i save it then i will be getting one two three so for one two three you do not have to write if you do not include any type here then it will take the one two three uh, let us come to this uh, uh, unordered list okay so in unordered list also we can give some types so type you have to write it equal to i can uh, type here circle okay S let me save it if i refresh it and then you can see the circle is coming like this okay i have other options too let me change it to other option like disk this okay so if i change it so this is by default already the default is this only so i can go for the square okay i can go for the square and uh, let me save it and if i refresh it so you can find the square here so in this video we have learned how to include the uh, bold italic 
underline strike big small and this uh, superscript subscript and also we have seen how to include the order list and uh, we can change the type also by simply typing type equal to and then i can give uh, a i small i one like this and for unordered list also we can have types like square and this and circle okay so hope the video is very much clear to you please uh, to watch the video multiple times so that everything goes inside your head and uh, i hope the video is clear to you thank you very much for watching the video please subscribe to the channel